The next lesson is about quantum number. Quantum number is a value that is used when describing the energy levels available to atoms and molecules. We have four quantum numbers. The first one is the principal quantum number which has a symbol of N. This indicates the highest level or energy. The next quantum number is the secondary quantum number. It is also known as azimuthal. It divides the shell, which are the sublevels called the orbitals. The orbitals are S, P, D, and F. The symbol for the secondary quantum number is L. It determines the sublevel value. For the orbital S or sublevel S, the L value is 0. For P, the L value is 1. D, the L value is 2. And F, the L value is 3. For the third quantum number, we have the magnetic quantum number or ML. It defines the orientation in space of a given orbital of particular energy. For every box, this one, known as orbital diagram or spaces, it contains or it can carry two electrons in the form of arrow, arrow up or arrow down. And then for S, the value of this box is 0. For P, the value is negative 1, 0, and 1. Each box has the corresponding value. So, yung nasa baba, ayun yung corresponding value ng box na yun. Dito sa D level, we have 5 boxes. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, positive 1, and positive 2. For the F, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7 boxes. Because the F sub-level can carry up to 14 electrons. Uh, it has a value of negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. And the fourth quantum number is MS or the spin quantum number. It indicates the orientation of the intrinsic angular momentum of an electron in an atom. If uh, the electron ends up with an arrow up or the spin up, it has a MS value of positive one half but if the electron ends up in spin down or arrow down it has a value of negative one half now for the example we have sodium which has an atomic number of 11 how are we going to find its quantum numbers first is to construct the electron configuration so in constructing the electron configuration, it is already in the first video that I have uploaded. Then, get the end level in electron configuration. Ano dito yung, alin yung ating uh, katapusan ng electron configuration? So, natapos tayo sa 3S1. Okay, dun muna tayo sa principal quantum number or yung N. It states that it is the highest level or energy. Dito sa ating end ng electron configuration, ang end natin dito is etong 3. So, our end is 3. That is our highest level or energy. Next is the L or sub-level value. Sa sub-level value, ang tinitingnan natin doon yung letters or yung sublevels, yung S, P, D, and F. Ano ba tayo nagtapos dito sa electron configuration? We ended up in letter S. It has a value of 0. So, ang ating L or secondary quantum number is 0. Next naman is for the ML. Our magnetic quantum number. Ang ating sublevel ay S. Ang box ng S ay isang box. So, meron lamang tayong isang box. Next, 
Doon sa box na yon ilan yung mailalagay nating electrons? Yung exponent natin, ayun yung number of electron. So, isa lang yung mailalagay nating electron dito sa loob ng box ng S. Ayan. Maglalagay tayo ng electron in the form of arrow. So, ganun natin nire-represent ang electron. Arrow. So, dahil meron lang tayong isa, arrow up lang. Ang ating value ng ML or ng magnetic quantum number is 0. Kasi 0 lang yung value ng isang nitong box na to. So, this is 0. And then, anong arrow tayo nagtapos sa spin quantum number natin? Arrow up ba? Spin up or spin down? So, nagtapos tayo sa spin up dahil yung ating arrow ay arrow up. Its value is positive 1 half. So, meron na natin o meron, nakuha na natin yung quantum numbers ng sodium. N is 3. Ito yung 3. L is 0 dahil nagtapos tayo sa S. ML is 0. Meron tayong isang box. Ang value ng isang box ng S ay 0. And then, MS is positive 1 half because our electron is represented in arrow up or spin up. Our next example is sulfur and it has an atomic number of 16. Ang kailangan muna natin gawin ay syempre kinuha natin yung electron configuration. So, ito na yung kanya electron configuration. Next, again, is going to get uh, the quantum number. First is the principal quantum number. San ulit tayo nagtapos sa ating electron configuration? Natapos tayo sa 3P4. Okay, so ang N natin is the highest level or energy, yung ulit number na malaki. So, our N is... 3. Next is sub-level value. Sa ang letter naman nagtapos or orbital. S, P, D, or F. So, we ended up in letter P. The value of P is 1. Our L is 1. Next is magnetic quantum number. So, we ended up in letter P. Ilang boxes meron sa letter P? We have Three boxes, ito. Ayan, so, nagdrawing na ako dito ng tatlong boxes para sa letter P. Ngayon, ilang electrons yung ilalagay natin dun sa box. So, titingnan natin kung ano yung exponent. For the exponent nung P natin, we have 4. So, apat na arrow yung ilalagay natin dito sa tatlong boxes. Remember that each box contains two electrons. But there is what we call the Hund's rule. Hund's rule. H-U-N-D apostrophe S rule. So, Hund's rule. It states that every orbital is singly occupied of one electron before any orbital is doubly occupied. Meaning, lalagyan muna natin sa nang isa-isang electron bago tayo bumalik dun sa unang box. So, dahil meron tayong apat na electron, drawing muna tayo ng 1, 2, 3. So, lahat meron na. And then, yung pang-apat, pababa naman. 4. Okay. So, ito yung ating orbital diagram para sa 3P4. So, we have 3 boxes for the P and 4 electrons represented by arrow. Okay, so ano yung kanyang mga value? Di ba yung value niya sa baba is negative 1, 0, and positive 1. So, paano natin malalaman itong ML? So, kung saan tayo nagtapos maglagay ng arrow? So, saan ba tayo nagtapos maglagay ng arrow? Dito tayo nagtapos maglagay ng arrow. So, ang value niya is negative 1. This is negative 1. 1. Next is the spin quantum number or yung MS. Saan tayo nagtapos na arrow? Arrow up or arrow down? So, nagtapos tayo na arrow is arrow down. So, spin down is negative 
one half. Okay, so we already have the quantum numbers for sulfur. N is 3, ito yung 3. L is 1 because nagtapos tayo sa P, ang value ng P sa L ay 1. ML is negative 1 dahil yung arrow natin nagtapos dito sa box na to, so negative 1. And then MS is negative 1 half because yung arrow natin is spin down. So that is how you get the different quantum numbers.